show you this new tank that I built for my two potential frogs tomorrow that I'm gonna get. Probably two red-eyed tree frogs. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll show that later in the video when I get them. But here I've set a nice paludarium build, and the way I've got this working is there's a like a pontoon in the back which like separates the soil from the water. So it, I've waterproofed it with silicone, which was a pellet pain. But it managed to work, and unfortunately there's a bit of soil in the uh, paludaric water section of the tank. But I will clean that out in the near future. But this water section keeps it makes the whole tank a lot humider. And here in the tank I've got this nice mossy vine, which should give the frogs a lot of places to like climb. Got loads of bromeliads in here, uh, three bromeliads, and a little bromeliad that's like connected to it. Then I've got a monkey, Chinese monkey plant, I think it's called. Here, it's very, I really like it. I've got like some climbing vine up there, some bamboo here. Can't exactly remember the name of this plant, but it's quite nice. Got a fern in the back. I've got a polka dot plant, I think it's called. I'm not 100% sure. And some golden pothos, which I really like to put in my frog tanks. And there's loads of sphagnum moss here because there's a big piece of wood there. And I tried to create like a water flowing part uh, here, but unfortunately my filter wasn't powerful enough. But it's still filtering the water to keep it nice, clean and crisp, you can just see it. Kind of dribbling down the side, but I've got a little uh, dripping. Not really, but I've got a little bit of dripping going on. And what I've got set up with this tank, I've got a Zoomed light up top here. I've also got this Haber mist, I think it's called, yeah. And I'll just turn it on, I'll show you what it looks like. It's very nice, it's a beautiful rain effect, but unfortunately it's very loud. But here it like, uh, what's the word? It creates moisture like everywhere. Really nice, makes rain. Yeah, I mean, it makes rain, yeah. And it just really waters my plant. I've got quite a, quite a nice piece of wood in here. I've got some tiny wood, I think it's called here and here. I've got some driftwood here and some driftwood because I've actually got a background in here. which has got loads of plant pots on and this main piece of driftwood just here, going from there to there got some cork bark on the black back but you can't really see it but I mainly use it to wedge plants in between like my bromeliad and there's this main piece of driftwood which is very beautiful it's like mystic driftwood or something I'm not 100% sure on the name of it the name of it but there's loads of sphagnum moss on there got like java moss dotted around the place but mainly sphagnum moss in this build because I've got it all in the back so my crickets do not escape hopefully and yes, I think the tank is looking pretty beautiful. And for this tank, I've also got my Repti Fogger. Uh, what is it? It's like called Repti Fogger, made by Zoomed. And I've got this powering my this tank and my Crested Gecko tank, which is a lot bearer than this tank. But this guy just destroys all the plants. So I've just got a couple of fake plants in here and mainly places to climb. And yeah, I've, the Fogger really works well. I'd recommend this to anyone. And what you can also do with them, you can cut a hole in the like mesh part of the tank, put the tubing in, and then like put it in a piece of cork bark and just let it float and it looks beautiful. But you can also use a, like just an actual fogger that you can buy from like, I think Exodera do a good uh, good one, but basically just one of these, which you put it in the water and it creates fog on the top. But I haven't put that in because I think it's fine as it is. But that is the tank, and I think it's looking really good, considering it took me a couple of weeks to make, and time. And yeah, I think it looks really good. So thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this quick video. And later on in the video, I'll show you guys a the frogs when I get them, which should be tomorrow. And hopefully they look really good. What is this moth doing here? Okay. Hope you guys like the video, and see you later on. Bye. Two milk frogs we've got with the this red-eyed tree frog. I know mixed species isn't recommended, but hopefully we can get away with it. Okay, now just gonna get them out. Be milk frogs are very beautiful. I really like them. You can kind of like. There's two in here. They're both kind of like hidden. There they are. One of them slightly bigger than the other, but let's try and get them in. Hopefully the, they're not too crazy. These guys. They're a little too young to identify the sex at the moment. But hopefully, they just jump out. Hopefully. Oh, one of them's looking. Wrong direction, dude. Okay. This is the frog right here. We're gonna put him in 
right now to his new home. He's sleeping at the moment, but he's a very beautiful, vibrant green. Very nice colors. And he's very nice looking right now. We're just gonna try and wake him up a little by just moving the cloth or paper towel. There he's waking up. Let him climb into his enclosure. Looks like your last frog, doesn't it? Yeah, my other frog. Oh, and there he jumped. And there's one frog. Hopefully his colours brighten up in a bit. Looking very nice. 